you say. Uh, casting is when you audition for something like a role on TV or uh, for a commercial like what I'm doing right now. That's the term that they use in, uh, in South Africa at least or in England. I'm not sure if it's the same in the United States because in the US they use the word audition a lot. So maybe they use audition even for TV uh, commercials. So that's what casting is. I'll show you what a brief is. So in your brief, you will see uh, the name of the production, the name of the product. When you receive that from your agent, um, they will email it to you. You will find the dates of the shoot, what the shoot is about, uh, wardrobe days, and especially the most important thing is the script. So you know what you're auditioning for or what you're casting for. In this video, I will show you the different things that I do to prepare myself for casting. Starting off with something that I cannot show you, which is the shower or the bath. I cannot show you that, obviously. Uh, I do like to take a shower before I prepare myself completely because it just makes me feel so fresh and everything is cleaner and then the mind is also cleaner and more prepared. After taking a shower or bath, I've already blow dried my hair and I prepared my hair for the casting. You have to remember that you will prepare your hair and your makeup according to the brief. So whatever the brief says, if it says you're a punk rocker, then you have to do a punk hairstyle. But if it says that you're going for something clean, so I filed my nails, I make sure that my nails are clean, and now I'm going to put my makeup on. So for the makeup, there's no biggie. Um, you're not supposed to do elaborate makeup. The most important thing is to have a clean face. So I start off by putting my base. Um, I like this Giorgio Armani Fluid Master Primer, but since we are going outside, especially in South Africa, I like the one with SPF 30. I bought this one, this Base Zero in Japan when I was there. It's also good. It's not as expensive as this Armani ones. I only bought these ones because my friend Bambi bought this said that this is the best. So I put it on. The base helps your makeup glide over your face. So it's nice and smooth. Okay. That's what I put. And then I grab my base. So it depends on what base you have. This one is just smooth it all over my face. I hope you can see it in that mirror. I'm not an expert in putting, setting up my camera yet. There you go. So I try to put makeup even over my eyes so that everything is just clean. You want to start off with a clean slate. So clean body, clean face. If you're an artist, you want to prepare your canvas. So this is what you do. You prepare your canvas and your canvas is your face. Okay, so now I can go like that. It's pretty clean, it's pretty neat. I just want to highlight a few things like my eyebrows, for example. So I spoolie you my eyebrow. There you go. I can go a little bit further and put some makeup on my eyebrow. So I take my eye pencil and use one of these. It's also from MAC. It doesn't have a label anymore at the bottom, but I think it's one of those dark browns. So I'm quite excited for this casting. I hope I book it. If I book this role, then the next step will be to go for a callback bag is similar to if you think of beauty pageants you are gonna be one of the semi-finalists in the pageant so hopefully I get into that semi-finals and you will know because obviously I think this video will be broadcasted if everything falls into place so nothing major, I don't arch my eyebrows, I just follow the light, the natural contour of my eyebrows. I just darken it a bit so that when it comes on camera, it's a little bit more defined. Okay. Next, I speak it again. And then I use a brow soap. 
This one was given to me by Red Artistry, Ina Del Rosario. She's now in the US, so she's not doing brows in the Philippines anymore. I went to her for my microblading last year when I was in the Philippines, and I really loved the result. Ina, if you're watching this, I miss you. Okay, so there, that's going to stay like that. Next is the eye area. So for the eye area, I kind of prepare my eyes with um, this concealer, Studio Finish Concealer. Just put a little bit around the eye area just so that you can hide any darkness and again to prepare that spot for a clean look. I put it under my eyes. Make sure you sleep well the night before casting and you hydrate yourself all the time anyway. But if you still feel like, oh, there's a little bit of bags under my eyes, then prepare your eyes like that. That also helps to hold your eye shadows in place. I'm looking for a really nice natural look. I'm going to use Shumimura, I've had my Shui for with me. You can see it's broken now. You got a holder, but they are so good. I've had them with me since I was in 1994 when someone gifted it to me. It's unbelievable. Um, okay, so I'm choosing something like this, which is close to my skin. closer colors and just put a little bit on that crease. I carry it over the bottom. Just to also give a little bit of definition to your bottom eyelid. And that's it. Well, if you like to do your eyelashes. And I like doing my eyelashes a little bit. You can curl your lashes. I generally do this before I put eye eyeshadow on so that it catches the uh, some of the powder from the eyeshadow. But I obviously forgot to do that. <laughs> so doing it now. There. Doesn't the eye look more open if you can see? Between this and this, this looks more open because of because of your mascara. Sorry, <laughs> my brain is going in different directions. So be careful when you do this. I've cleaned all the materials before. Make sure you have them cleaned. You clean them or you ask her because I'm behind to do it. There you go. That's pretty neat. I want to put mascara at the bottom lids so that it looks fresher. Okay, I'm happy with that. And for some people, they want to line, you know, you can put eyeliners under or on top, but I like that fresh clean look. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, what's next is the blush one. I can do blush. And I choose one which is close to my skin because I'm morena. So I choose something like that, not so pinkish. And then I do a slightly darker for under just to define my cheekbones and also my jawline. I think that's one of you highlight your asset and I think my jawline is one of my assets so to highlight that I kind of put a highlighter. 
Uh, and I use that same color around my nose, just so to give it definition. I put, so if you have nice colored lips, then you can leave it on like that, or you can put a slightly darker one. But please, if you're going for, uh, for casting or for audition, try to put on very less red, um, very natural colors on your lips. Because you want to look as natural as possible so that they can see the real you. That's what they want to see. They want to see your face, not somebody else's face. So don't try to look like Julia Roberts or uh, Kathleen Bernardo, <laughs> Liza Soberano. Try to be you. And it's done. So now I'm going to go for casting. I have a um, in my script, there are no lines, so when I go there, they're going to ask me for my name, my agent, uh, sometimes they ask for your age, and um, I will tell them that I am available for the shoot. So that's one of the things you have to look out for in the brief that, they, that your agent sends you. Make sure that you are available for the shoot before you even say, yes, I'm coming to your casting because you're just wasting their time if you're not available for the shoot anyway. Make sure you're available for all the dates, the shoot, the wardrobe day, the callback days. And then uh, they're going to ask me uh, to do something or to perform something that is uh, relevant to the theme of the television shoot. In this case, we're going to be going on a game drive, so probably they're going to ask me to uh, look out into the savanna and imagine you are looking at animals and so on. So, just prepare yourself for a little bit of acting. And that's what you do for casting. I'll try and see if I can bring you in. I doubt they let me in casting to, to bring a camera in casting, but let's see. Are those are giraffes? Wow. Gosh, they look so peaceful. Look at those. I received a bit of good news yesterday. I was told by my agent that the clients want to meet me for a callback in the casting that we did uh, two days, three days ago. <laughs> I can't remember anymore. So I need to go back. I'm wearing the same thing that I wore for my casting so that they know. I'm gonna get the same number that I got from casting. And I don't have to do 
the whole introduction once again because they know who I am whatsoever. All I need to do now is to meet the director, meet the client if possible and um, do the thing that I did in the casting which is to perform as if I am on a game drive. So that's what I'm going to do today and I told you before that it's like being in a semi-final so I have to do my best to get into that final list so the next step after a callback is for you to be on the short list or sometimes they give you a final list crossing fingers <laughs> so I booked the TV commercial I casted for and today I'm going for wardrobe a few notes on wardrobe uh, wardrobe is not paid so when you go for wardrobe they don't pay you for the day that you spend in wardrobe usually it takes only about two hours but if the um, wardrobe people go over two hours in fitting you and taking your measurements then they start paying you per hour okay so that's one another thing that you have to remember during wardrobe is that or before going to wardrobe is that you have to have a clean face remember you're going to be putting on clothes that do not belong to you that you will be wearing for the shoot so don't wear makeup especially not lipstick those can stain and don't wear perfume because that will leave a smell in the in the clothes speaking of smell please 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 shower or bath before you go for wardrobe day it's important that you're clean so that they're the clothes remain clean and also if you are rushing from one job to the other try not to book a job before you go for wardrobe but if you are and you're rushing from one job to the other try not to run so you're not sweating so much okay try to have an ample time to relax and not sweat so that the clothes remain pristine before you go for your wardrobe fitting um, another thing about wardrobe try to wear loose clothes or clothes that are comfortable and easy to take on and off and that's because you want to try and get everything flowing and try to get in there and get out of there as soon as you can. So try to do that. Also, don't forget to bring extra clothes. So my wardrobe, wardrobe will tell you, please bring something that you feel will fit the theme of the shoot. And that's because you might become more comfortable wearing your own clothes. So our shoot has this outdoor feel and I brought some things that I can wear outdoors. I also brought this. It might be one of the things that we'll, they will choose. So yes, try to bring some clothes. They don't necessarily will make you wear your own clothes. They have their own wardrobe, but just be prepared and bring something that you might be more comfortable wearing. And finally, remember that in the creative process, everyone works as a team. The people in wardrobe are trying to make you look good. They want you to look good. And for them to make you look good, you have to work with them. So treat them with respect. Treat them as you would treat your director, your co-workers. Work with them nicely. Be punctual. Be early for your wardrobe. That's why I'm going to go now. <laughs> because I'm going to be late. <laughs> That's my tip. Bye. <laughs>
Amazing. And then do you, Vasi, how do you want the, the side? The oh, video? So, um, just to like. Oh, you're back. <laughs> so just to um, go like. You want just see profile, but it's oh, in the video. Then. So just right. move from. Yeah, okay. yeah just like right. that. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What are you wearing? <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> don't, don't even, don't even. <laughs> I It's gonna work. <laughs> Yule is one of my favorite South African artists. Yay! <laughs> it's also in the commercial that we're not going to say what. Many accessories and hats. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm my way to the well, to the meeting place, and I'm so excited because it's the first shoot of the year. I'm always super excited with the first job that I do in the course of the year because it sets the tone for the rest of the year and it's spending cozy <laughs> I'll keep you posted on everything that's going on 